Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss how you can execute the JavaScript function in the Karate framework. In Karate framework, you can define the JavaScript function directly inside the feature file. And once you have the capability of accessing the JavaScript function, it opens up the opportunity by which you can leverage the feature of the JavaScript language. So let me show you how it is done. So first, I am going to create one more feature file inside this package. And let me call it as JavaScript executor. Inside this feature file, first I'm going to use the feature keyword followed by the short title. Then I'm going to create the scenario. So in order to access the JavaScript function in our scenario, first we need to define its implementation. So I'm going to create a variable that is going to define the implementation of the JavaScript function. Now let us see how we can create the JavaScript function. So this is how we can create the JavaScript function. So we need to use the function keyword followed by the name of the function. And then we need to specify the arguments which this function is going to take. So in this example, let me remove the arguments. And this function is going to return a constant value. And let me run it. So this is the output. But when you are providing the implementation of JavaScript function in the feature file, you don't need to specify the name of the function. So when you are providing the implementation of JavaScript function in the feature file, the actual syntax will be like this. So now I'm going to provide the implementation. So let me copy this implementation and place it inside the feature file. So this is our JavaScript function, which is going to return a constant value that is 10. During the runtime, Karate framework will automatically resolve and execute this function. So then print. Function value and the name of the function. As this function is not taking any arguments, so I will just provide the open and close bracket. Then I'm going to create one more runner. And inside this runner, I will add this feature file name. And let me run this runner. So as you can see here, Karate framework was able to resolve the implementation of JavaScript function as well as it is able to execute it. So this is the value. So let me create one more function which is going to generate the random value in the integer format. And this is the implementation of that function. So function keyword followed by the open and close bracket and then the function body. And let me call the print method to print the value of this function at the console. And let me rerun the runner. It seems that I did not add the return statement. And let me rerun the runner. So this is the value. So let me create one more function which is going to take the argument. So this is function name. Then I need to provide the implementation. And here I will specify the name of the argument. And then function body. As this function is going to take the argument, so I need to specify the argument value while calling this function. And let me run the runner. So this is the output. So in this manner, you can use the JavaScript function directly inside the feature file.